Welcome to the Tech Support Guy site, one of the top websites for free technical support. The Tech Support Guy forums, which is accessible at the top of any of our pages, allows you to post your question where our community of volunteers can offer suggestions on how to help solve your problem. Basically, it works like this. You join the Tech Support Guy site. Don't worry, it's free. Post your question, and another user, just like yourself, sees your question and offers some advice or a possible solution to your problem. Are you ready? Let's get started. As you've probably done on other sites, the first step to using ours is to join. It's very easy and completely free. Just click the Join link at the top of any page. You have to pick a unique username that you'll be known by on the site. For your privacy, we recommend that you do not use your full name or email address as your username. Once you've completed the form, you'll need to check your email for a confirmation that should arrive in just a few seconds. You'll have to click on the link in the email to complete your registration. Before posting your question, we recommend that you try searching to see if someone else has already posted the solution. Simply click the search link at the top right of any page. If you can't find your solution by searching, return to the forums by clicking the link at the top of any page. Then, choose the forum category that best fits your question. For example, Microsoft Word questions go in business applications. If you think you have a virus or spyware, post it in malware removal and hijack this logs. Please post your question only once. If you discover later that it may be better served in another category, you can always ask to have it moved. After you've selected your category, you can click on the New button just above the list of existing questions to post your question. Please provide as much detail as possible about your problem, including specific information about your computer if possible. For example, which version of Windows are you using? If there's an error message involved in your question, please try to post it word for word. Generally, the more information we have about your problem, the easier it is to help you to solve it. To help keep our community a friendly place for computer help, we do have a few rules. We do not support any illegal activity, including hacking or stealing key codes. We also do not support stealing music or movies, including the use of P2P file sharing software. Please be patient and polite. Remember that everybody here is a volunteer. After you've posted your question, you can return to the site as often as you'd like to check to see if someone has replied to offer you some help. An easy way to find your post is to click the Search My Post link on the right side of most pages. After you've solved your problem, it is polite to reply to your own thread to let everybody know what has worked. You never know when someone else might have the same problem. You're also welcome to reply to posts from other people. You just might know the solution to someone else's problem. Thanks for visiting Tech Support Guy. If you like our site, please be sure to tell your friends and family. Also, check out the other sections, including the Wiki Library and the News section, where we have our email newsletter and audio podcast. For more information on using our site, please visit www.techguy.org and click on the Welcome Guide on the left.